Hi guys, welcome back to The Craft Scraps. I am Lauren and today we are going to do a super, super, super easy beginner friendly craft. We are gonna be making this custom water bottle here just using some 651 vinyl. Um, that is literally all you need today and if you wanna do this on a wine glass, if you wanna do this on a tumbler, um, all the steps will remain the same. I'm just using this super easy really beautiful vinyl that I got from Auntie Tay. Um, this SVG is also from Auntie Tay. You can get for free if you join her membership. Information is on that is below. And I think that's pretty much it. It's uh, gonna be a super quick and easy craft today. So this is really good for like a last minute gift or just a last minute, you know, you just feel like personalizing something in your house. Um, this is perfect for that. So. Um, I think that's all you're going to need. Oh, you'll need some um, transfer tape too. That's pretty much the only other thing you'll need. So let's get started. Alright, so we have our images uploaded. Well, I'm not going to use all these images, but um, I uploaded these SVGs from Auntie Tay. This is one of her bundles. I think this is one of her hobby bundles I believe um, and like I said all of this you can get faux free if you become one of her members so um, let's see and if you need to know how to upload an image you can come up here to the corner and um, click on that video and I'll show you how to upload an image from the internet but for now we're going to use one of these, so I'm going to ungroup these and I'm just going to get rid of the ones I'm not going to use. I think I'm going to use this one because I'm going to put it on my water bottle. Um, yeah, I think those are that's a good one. So I'm going to delete these. And again, this is the best part about using these ready to go SVG files is literally this is ready to go. I don't have to do anything to this. Um, Maybe I'll just play with the colors a little bit so it matches what I actually want to cut it cut it out of. So this black, I think I will cut out. I think I have some bright pink vinyl I'll use for that. This gym one. Oh, and so I'm just changing the colors by this is the and this is the updated design space. They've been They've been trying to get crazy and they've changed some things around. So my original videos from, you know, months ago are probably look a little different. Um, so to change the color, I'm going to come over here to my layers and I'm just going to, so for this blue sleep repeat, I'm just going to click on the layer and you can see it kind of highlights. And then you can see it selects it and then there's the, our color palette up here. So it's like this teal color, but I think I'm going to have it be, I'm trying to remember what color vinyl I have handy. I think I'll do that like a purple. And then for the gym, I'm going to do that. I, I got this really pretty. It's like a, I don't even know how to describe it, like some kind of metallic, shiny, glittery um, the closest color here is this gray, so I'll um, do that. So the reason we want to change the colors, and we don't want just all this to be one color, um, is because we this will tell our Cricut machine, I want this cut out of pink vinyl, I want this cut out of you know gray, and I want this cut out of purple. If you wanted all this to be um, cut out of the same color, all you need to do is select the whole thing, come up here, and let's say I wanted all this to be this mint color. There you go. Actually, that looks really cute, but uh, I'm going to go back to my original plan. So, um, so yeah, so that is the reason why we want to change the colors. I get that question pretty frequently. The reason you want to change the colors is because if you want it cut out on different vinyls or different HTV colors or different materials this is telling your Cricut that alright so now to size this I believe the water bottle I have is like maybe seven inches or so tall so 
I don't want this to be gigantic, so I think like five by four is probably a decent size. So you can see that will be the size that our little decal will be. So now that we're done, we'll save this. You notice how I left the gym out of my title. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna save that so we don't lose all of our hard work and then we'll come over here to make it so now you can see so this is going to be cut out onto a gray mat this is going to be cut out on pink and then this is going to be cut out on purple and we don't need to mirror this because we're just going to use regular old vinyl so we just hit continue it'll find our machine and then I'm going to cut so we'll select our maker and then I'll set my material to vinyl and I'll switch you guys over to the camera so you can see how we're going to cut this. Now we're going to load our mat with this pink color. We only needed a little bit so I'm able to just use this little scrap piece I have here. And I definitely need to clean my mats real bad. Load our mat and cut. this off and then our last piece we're going to put on this purple vinyl again all this is from Auntie Tay I think this was in all in her winter no I think this was in her best day ever vinyl pack yeah this was in her best day vinyl pack this was in her best day vinyl pack this was in her winter mystery box I believe I don't know if this loaded correctly. Let's do that one more time. All right, so we got our mat loaded, and now we can cut. Unload this. We're done with our Cricut for now. Okay, and so before I start weeding this, what I'm going to do, I so this is the bottle I'm going to use. It's just a cheap one from probably like the dollar store or something. Um, so I am going to, I actually don't know where I got this. I have no idea. So I just want to clean the surface of it. I have washed this, but just want to make sure we get any dirt, gross stuff off of it. So just use some regular rubbing alcohol, 
cotton ball. Okay, so now while that dries, we can start weeding our materials. So, first we'll weed this pink. So we have our first piece. So note to self, this is actually HTV. <laughs> it is not vinyl. So we're gonna have to go to plan B and cut something different. All right, so plan B is we're gonna use this pretty blue color to cut out the gym part of our water bottle design. All right, so we're gonna load our mat. And cut. So while that's cutting, we can just weed this because this is the correct material. This is actually vinyl, not HTV. I cannot believe I did that. I just assumed it was <laughs> vinyl, I guess. All right. So we'll just weed out the middles of these E's. And so this vinyl, this vinyl, and this one, th this is all 651, so it's permanent vinyl. So it'll last on this plastic water bottle. All right. So the other kind of vinyl is 631 or non-permanent, and that will not, it'll stick, but it won't, you know, be permanent. It might start to peel off after a little while. So we're gonna use the permanent vinyl or 651 from Auntie Tay. All right, so now we can actually weed this because it's the correct material. All right. So we can get rid of our scraps. All right, so now, oh, I forgot to weed this part out. So now we're going to apply this to our water bottle here. So bring this down so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so how we are gonna do this is I will start with the, let's see. All right, so I just wanna make sure it's all centered. So we'll start with here. We'll do that one, and then, so it'll look like that. So we're gonna use this masking uh, transfer tape, also from Auntie Tay. This stuff is freaking amazing. I love this stuff. You can, if you wanna just try it, she has this, um, a sample of it, and just one of her, um, boxes, but this whole roll, I mean, this will last me forever, and you can reuse um, reuse the same piece a couple of different times, so it's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna put this one right here, so I'm just gonna... Press that down real good, and then peel away. All right, so our second one is the gym. Again, this 
whole SVGs from Auntie Tay's website. You can get all this stuff for free if you join her membership. Um, trim this a little bit so I can see where this is going to go. Alright, so we'll put the gym right there. And peel off. And then we'll do this one. I'll get a new piece for this. And this is my favorite part. There's no carrier sheet. You can just cut what you need and you're good to go. So I'll put that on there. And it's it's um, opaque enough so you can still see through it. So you can see where you're gonna be sticking your image. And it just peels so easily. It's awesome. I love this stuff. This is my new favorite. I am. I used to be, well, I still love the Oracle, but this stuff is just so good. Let's see? All right, so this last one, I'm just trimming this so I can see. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Okay, so I can see where this is gonna go. So this is gonna go like right. Here. So I'm just going to press the center. And just kind of work my way out. Use your scraper if you want to really get it on there. Alright, so then we're just going to peel off. All right, so there you have it. Your very own custom water bottle. You literally would probably have to pay like 10 bucks or something like this, but now that you have your Cricut, you got some vinyl, you can make your own custom water bottle, glasses, whatever, and you don't need to seal this. Um, if you hand wash it, and don't soak it, no microwave, obviously, no dishwasher. Um, this will last you for a while. So just as long as you take good care of it, you should be good to go. And before you use it, just let this all kind of sit for like 24 hours so it can kind of cure and really stick to the plastic. Um, and yeah, so you're good to go. So as always, make sure you like, follow, and don't forget to subscribe and Again, all this stuff you can get at Auntie Tay. You can use my code, all lowercase, the craft scraps for 20% off. And as always, happy crafting.